Hello. And welcome back to another update. Not that much to talk about really, but I just figure I want to show you what I've been working on and such. I know I haven't posted anything in two weeks. Um, I've been lazy. That's the main reason. Um, I've been very lazy. Not sure why though, but yeah. Uh, after that whole sculpting thing, I don't know. It just stopped. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I just drop out of it like that, but... At least I'm trying to do something each day, just a little minor thing, you know, do something, you know, sculpt something, just paint some, like a part or just a specific thing, um, yeah, just something each day. Uh, trying to do that, but it's not always happening. Plus, I'm helping out a lot here at home, so yeah, that's a given, and it consumes time, you know, watching anime, playing games, whatever, just going on the computer. Just doing whatever just takes up a whole lot of time. At least I'm taking my time to make the videos when I have to, so. Yeah. First of all, I finished my Atom Blade from Needless. He's been done for quite a while now. I'm gonna post him pretty soon. I believe right after Genos. Still haven't posted the video. I have the video. I haven't posted it. I have to do a video for Comp as well. But yeah, I'm very happy how this figure turned out. And I'll make a video of that whenever. Not that anyone cares. New stuff? Uh, new. Still gotta work on other stuff that I've been saying. Still haven't started on Ruby. You know, I have her skull. But I haven't p started painting or anything like that. And I did say I will finish her before the end of the year. So I have to do that. But it's still a month left. I'm reworking Ragna yet again. Because my old one was shit. Like, really shitty. And I still have his coat right here. And for being Ragnar's coat, it was just way too long. I do like how this thing looks. I know maybe I'll just use it on something else. Whatever. Uh, it just looks pretty cool. But, yeah, it's not that great. It's pretty old. This time his coat is made out of paper. Uh, it's obviously easier that way. And, yeah. Before I painted it and all, it looked really weird, like I wasn't too sure how it's gonna look, but when I started painting it and adding all the belts and stuff, uh, detail, whatever, it changed pretty quickly. Just transformed like that. And that's pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to finishing this up actually. And as you can see I've done a new sculpt for him as well, uh, did that really quickly. Fully sculpted, uh, no Lego base or anything, so yeah. So that's something. Uh, it's a character from my favorite show this season. Girls Last Tour. This is Chi and I'm going to start working on you. Because I got the sculpt, because I got the whole sculpting parts done. Probably going to have to make the hoods out of uh, paper. At least for this figure. Because I've tried sculpting and such. Because her hair. Like characters with hair that goes underneath like this. It's really hard with Legos to do that so obviously Lego would have the hair going down the torso um, but I didn't want to do that so I just decided to sculpt this piece that's glued on paper as you can see right there and then you put it underneath like that I think that simulates it the best way and it's just too bad that they gotta have this kind of hairstyle but eh, I mean I'll I'll make it work somehow I've gotten this far, so I'm not going to quit on this figure, because I really like the characters, how they look in that show. Um, yeah, so I just really want to make them. And it's just two characters, so that makes a set, at least. I would like to make their vehicle, but I don't have the pieces, unfortunately. So that's one thing that I'm really tryharding on right now. Um, and we're finally making a dark-skinned character. I wanted to make Zap for quite a while now. Ever since 2015, actually. <clears throat> Never bothered to buy the pieces, because uh, they're pretty unreasonable. But at that convention, they had pretty reasonable prices. Uh, Swedish prices, so... Yeah. And then in the back, we got the finished ones. Uh, that are recently finished. I'll start off with Garrison right here, from Battle Chasers. Nobody's gonna give two fucks about that, either. Might add some more details to his face. I'm not too sure, like cheekbones and stuff. I don't know. I uh, just like how they're not like this. Really nice looking. 
And as you can see, I've started using fabric again. Don't know why, though. Uh, it's a pain to work with, but yeah. More kick eye sends in. Um, Klaus, obviously. Like, I don't know, I really don't know what, how I should have made his face because he always has the glasses on the nose, you know. You see him like this. Like, I don't know what to do. First, I was just thinking maybe I should just paint him with the glasses on, but eh. You know, I can always redo it, so it doesn't really bother me. Really simple figure, and that's the main thing, actually, why I made him. Really simple, and I do like the character a lot. And the sculpt turned out pretty nice. I like the color. That too, I really like the color of this guy. I might actually make every member of Libra, because I really like the show, I really missed it. Uh, I really hope it gets a third season after this, or something. Just a really great show. And then we got Gintoki, and he's finally done. Uh, really happy with this. I haven't seen anything Lego Gintama at all. Like, nobody has made that for some reason. I really don't know why. So that's pretty much all there is to show and talk about for this time. So thank you guys for sticking through. Like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next time. Mm, bye.